Hello folks, welcome to the part 2 video of building web mobile API automation in a single framework. If you are directly watching this part 2 video of Webdriver IO series, I would suggest you to go through the part 1 video once. I have also added the uh, GitHub link in the disc video description as well. Just a basic recap of what we have covered in the part 1. Um, create a basic Webdriver skeleton framework. We have rearranged the folder structure. Uh, and also we explored a AUT for our requirements, edited the config files to support both web and mobile uh, cases. Now the problem statement is a code written to test a functional piece might be either a web for or mobile should work perfectly irrespective of the platform. Uh, it might be Android, iOS or web. A single script should work in all these platforms. We can quickly jump on to hands on. This login page is a sample code provided by Webdriver IO. You can see the syntax of how elements are defined in WDIO with a dollar symbol and what are the inbuilt functions to interact with the elements. To start with, we are going to automate this login page and validate the header in the landing page. Functional flow will be enter username, password, click on the login button, navigate to the landing page and verify the header. So uh, to save time, I have written down the locators for uh, web and mobile elements in the notepad. We will be using these. If you are someone who needs help in identifying locators effectively, I will try to drop a short video on locator strategy for automating with minimal, minimal effort. Creating a constant name locators and pasting the locators in here. Here you can see three locators belonging to different platforms in a single object. Inside the uh, login button you can see Android, iOS, web key values defined. As I already mentioned our intention is to maximize reusability by using the same script in all the platforms. So that's why we have defined all the key value pairs with the platform in a single object. So now um, I will be defining a login page class with async methods. So let's create a async method to enter username passwords. So if you are going with async methods, don't forget to add awaits because your JavaScript doesn't uh, needs to know that it should wait until current thread of execution is done before jumping to the next line. So uh, we are using await keyword here. Webdriver IO provides a well documented uh, place with an example code of for each method. So here you can find methods helpful to interact with the elements. There will be also usage defined here. So for the set value, we are going to uh, use this set value method to enter username and password in the respective tick boxes. Let me copy and paste this username and make this as a enter password method and we will uh, use the password element locator. Uh, I will copy the username and password from the website. So now I will create one more method to perform login and add enter username password methods in here. Async login. Now we will call using this keyword this dot enter username this dot enter password.
and finally we have to hit the login login button so anytime you can refer the documentation uh, to get the required methods so here we will use click action to enter the login button login button dot click So now we, we need to validate the header after login in the landing page. We are going to check, uh, we are going to add a basic validation to check whether the header is displayed or not. That's it. So let's uh, see the documentation for the correct or suitable method. Here, here they are given uh, the usage as well for each displayed method. So we will make use of the same method. Our sample test scripts are ready to log in and validate the header. Now we can import the uh, login page in our test spec file and uh, uh, call it here. So to import it here, we need to export this login page class. If I run my uh, test now, it will fail because if you if you notice here, uh, I have given three key values under a single locator object, and my test has no idea to pick which one. So WebDriver I/O should know which key value it should use during the runtime. To resolve this, I took some reference from my colleague to have some custom logic. I will attach the re reference repo link as well in the description. We, we are going to make use of this configuration and utils to resolve this issue. Let me create a, a utility folder here. Inside this, I will create a custom command JS file. Let me copy the code. Uh, WebDriver IO allows us to have custom methods which we can use during the runtime. So here we will be declaring constant platform key map which has nothing but an Android iOS web key value pass. By now we know that WebDriver IO uses dollar symbol before declaring elements. So we are going to use this to add a logic in such a way that whenever dollar symbol is used in code, you need to override it with a custom method. This method will get platform in runtime. So here, uh, this can be achieved by driver.ismobile or web on the driver.isandroid or iOS. Now this custom logic solves a problem big time by conveying WebDriver I/O that boss the current platform in which tests are running is web, Android or iOS. So WebDriver I/O will pick the locators accordingly. For example, a username. Uh, use, uh, whenever this web is declared, it will call the uh, platform key map, it will get the current platform and it will uh, get the locators accordingly from the username object. So one more important thing is, now we have to pass this info to WebDriver I/O that in runtime, you need to make sure to refer to the custom command file. So your WebDriver I/O config provides a way to do this. In before function, you need to mention required custom command. Since WebDriver I/O config file is your starting point of execution, your WebDriver I/O is made aware that it should refer to the custom command file under utils folder. So now instead of declaring a, a URL in test scripts, which is common to all the platforms, we can make use of before test method here in the config file to add the uh, application under test URL. 
for your web application so this will be uh, similar to the uh, like this will be to the web web dot wdio config dot js here we will be adding the browser url and we will be setting the window size as well okay then window size is right so we are almost done we already have a script which can execute perfectly respective of platform so now we can remove two spec file and have a generic file since uh, single spec file will run for our uh, all the platforms we will name this as a, a login.e2e we have implemented a, a solution for a problem statement uh, to run a script for a functional piece in all the platforms now we will try to run this in web mobile and android and check whether we are getting uh, appropriate results i am using npx wdio command to run the uh, test so uh, these commands are uh, there in the documents as documentation as well you can refer to it any time i have also updated uh, uh, scripts that i am using to run the execute this test in the uh, scripts folder of package.json here you can see the spec reporter I am using spec reporter, JUnit reporter so that uh, uh, you can see the results in the console itself. Now let me bring up emulator and we will trigger the test in the android first. So it will open the, it will install the Swag Labs app first in the uh, emulator and it will execute the test. It has opened the app and WebDriver IO now interacts with the uh, elements in the Android app and executes the functionality. Okay, our test is done. Now we can see the spec reporter one test has passed yeah here you can see uh, in JUnit reporter you can see the web driver interaction with the elements in the step by step manner now we will run the test in the iOS simulator let me open a simulator Instead of Android, we, we just need to point it to the ios.conf.js file. This will install the WebDriver agent and the app in the iOS device. And the script written to test the login functionality and uh, validate the header will be executed in the iOS platform as well. By using the custom commands. So our WebDriver uh, in the runtime will know which platform the test are running on and it will use as the locators accordingly since the functionality is same just the locators will be different each time in the different platforms now you can see the spec reporter one test has passed and all the uh, steps step by step executions so the single test script written for uh, to test the functionality works in all the platforms So in the upcoming videos we will uh, deep dive in utilities and helper methods that can be uh, used and uh, how to write effective test scripts and also we will have a video on reporting. We will have videos on WebDriver AO plugins, CI CD uh, part, uh, yeah. we will try to cover as much as possible. Exploring low cost and distributed load testing using k and docker so watch out the space for videos related to this. Thanks folks.